So let's say that you wanna create some additional horns. You can click and drag and create something like this, but obviously doing this means that you are actually stretching some of the polygons, which means that you are limited to what you can do. So if you start like adjusting this or maybe rotating it and creating like a very cool um, shape for these horns, you're literally destroying the geometry. So at this point, what you can do is redynamish. So basically telling ZBrush, hey, I have a new geometry or new um, volume that I want to add, and I want to make sure that I have the same sort of nice topology that I can smooth and add details and all of that. So this is where the control click and drag becomes relevant because if you don't have any mask, let's turn this off. If you don't have any mask right now, you can redynamish by holding control, click and drag, and you'll see it just basically changes the topology. Let me do it again. I'm going to undo that. Hold control, click and drag, and you see ZBrush gives you nice topology again. So we can just go ahead and smooth this out. And now we have a, an, an interesting additional, um, additional shape for this character.